been basically following uh, XY1 for a while. Uh, you can also find them on Twitter as well. I'll be linking both at their channel and Twitter down below. Um, if you want to go ahead and follow them, they they are they are pretty active. So um, bas basically, X one one is a uh, compatibility layer, or basically an emulator, um, an Xbox One emulator. I'm I'm just gonna call it an emulator. Basically, it's an Xbox One emulator that runs uh, basically Xbox Xbox One games. Um, this this is a this is a progress update. Um, if we go to their more recent videos, I mean. This was about five months ago. We're gonna at least look at the, the one to five time trying months to learn how to skip ads. ads man. Pie and move on. I'm this not paying for YouTube takes premium. Five seconds a second. Eat a dick. Um, this is like the the first update for, and this is using Forza Horizon right here. So you guys can see that we're gonna go with the the, the first update, and then we're gonna look at the second update. Go ahead and uh, just give the uh, video, by the way. Wanted to look at this again. It is cool being able, and this is apparently the Forza Horizon 2 demo, but it is cool being able to see this in action with Xbox One games. As obviously, uh, there's no sound. Oh, it's enabled. But yeah, I mean. This is insane, and this is a team, or this is a this is a team of people working on getting Xbox One games to work. And this is on PC, by the way, of course. Um, as you guys can see, the Windows logo at the bottom. This is not Linux, so keep that in mind. I'm very excited about this project. Open because, your eyes. Um, we're gonna go ahead and skip past with every word. Scenes are gonna matter. Ocean roaring beside you. your thoughts lost in a thin. And the, the update too, um, they're gonna go through and do the same thing. Uh, obviously, the cutscenes are not really affected too much as far as we're concerned. But it's more of like an in game we're more worried about. So we're gonna go ahead and back it out. Okay, so drive to. So it's just a black screen, there's nothing happening on screen. The reason why I also, I also wanted to show you guys this is because, um, I mean, this is important because Forza Horizon 2 is not natively on PC at all. Like, the closest we're going to get is, like, basically Xenia, and I, as you guys can see, I did do a video recently, so, um, you'll, you'll see this video at the end of this video. I'll just, I'll just do that. But... The only way you can run Forza Horizon 2 as of right now, or even Forza Horizon, is basically through, like I said, Xenia. So, um, seeing this, I mean, the, the fact that Forza Horizon 2 is literally running on PC through, like, ex the Xbox One version running on PC is actually mind-blowing. And here's what it looks like when you, when, you know, said person pauses it, X Wind one user... It's kind of cool seeing this. This is literally progress right here. And, uh, I mean, as you guys can see that they are working on it. I'm going to go ahead and finish this, but they can change, like, the settings and everything, but there's no background. Now, what's mind-blowing about this is if we go back to their channel again, um, I'm not really interested in this stuff, but if you guys want to go ahead and check... This other stuff I will be linking the, their channel down below. They don't have a whole lot of videos, but this is this is already insane. Um, also, you can follow them on Twitter. Now, this is the latest build of it, basically. So we're going to go ahead and start it again. We're going to probably kind of skim through it. Am I still recording? I am still recording. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn down the audio or turn off. The, well, actually, audio is important, so we're going to do that. So it does boot still and i think this is the i think this is a regular forza horizon i'm not sure this could be the demo still the other one happened to be the demo we're gonna go ahead and skim through this as you can see you can resize it if you want this is in window mode technically microsoft studio so it does boot into the main menu still 
So we're, we're aware it does boot. So now you'll see, because I've seen some of this already, Open. so keep that in mind. Of, um, of course, the, the, the beginning Your intro is still here, and it's still the same, nothing's Eight. changed. I don't think the intro is going to ever be affected, I say. although you never know. But it does display um, the, the cutscenes and stuff just fine. So that's always important. So, please go ahead, subscribe to XY1, give them a like, follow them on Twitter. Like, I think they're doing great. Now, what you're about to see is actual in-game. This is literally such a huge, this is a huge progress. Like, this is, this is insane. And I, I wanted to, I wanted to like touch base on this because, I mean, I, I've been paying attention really closely to this and being able to see Forza Horizon, the Xbox One version, in game. Not to say that, not to bash on the 360 version because you know, in my personal opinion, I, I, I do like the 360 version. The fact that they actually got that to run on that console is insane, but. The Xbox One version is basically where it's at. I mean, it's displaying... It's not displaying correctly, but this is such a huge bump. This is literally insane that it's able to boot into the game and you're able to play the game. I mean, we're going to go ahead and back up a little bit. Um, It literally is displaying graphics and it, it may be... It may be a while before they do like the update three, but I'm paying close attention to this. And uh, I happen, this happens to be one of my favorite Forza Horizon games, by the way. I think two is the best one, in my opinion. So seeing this, like the Xbox One version running natively, not natively, but emulated on a PC is, is mind blowing. Now, I don't know what kind of card they're currently using. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it doesn't really say much, but it, yeah, as this comment says, uh, progressing fast. Um, love seeing how far the product has come. Would be interesting to see more like the behind the scene, how you guys managed to pull this off. I mean, they might do that. Open my eyes. That's exactly what I did, man. I'm. This is this is actually insane. And you know what? Shout out to these developers, man. This is literally preservation at its finest now this is not going to be the final product obviously and grant forza if the fact that forza horizon 2 like i said is actually booting and playing is is mind-blowing on its own i mean this is right here this is an achievement by itself like seeing this happen at the at the beginning and it's playing and it's not i it might crash at some point loading into somewhere but this is all they got for right now but as you guys can see i don't know if there's audio there's no audio currently um and i think that's the game not displaying the audio correctly unless they have it turned down nope as you guys can see they don't have it turned down um they're pausing the game just like they did before is my audio yeah i don't know let me check it might be my end let me check real quick volume mixer no yeah, no microsoft edges all the way up so there's no there's currently no audio though it could be fixed later unless they disabled it for copyright but as far as i'm concerned the audio is not currently working but everything so far is like the pause menu is and so it's not displaying the graphics correctly but this is this is huge so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to continue looking at this because we're going to look at the back, like the, the mountains and stuff too. Keep in mind, this could take up to a year to to at least develop the, the, the game and get it running. So it could be like 2026 from now and it can be fully done. Who knows? I mean, especially how far this has come looking at it. Um, you can, everything is rendered in, not, maybe not correctly, but everything is rendering in really well. And so this is, this is cool. You know, like I said, shout out to these guys. Um, 
And we're going to back that up. This is, I mean, compared to, like, I'm going to go ahead and go to YouTube. Computer's being slow today. I don't know why. Uh, I'm going to go to history. Um, that's update two, update one. Compared to update one, I uh, don't fucking care about that. I mean, like, look at update one. And then this is what it looked like before. And then if you look at update two, why did that happen? If you look at update two, this is exactly what it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and minimize that. Update one, update two. So we're going to do this, actually. In fact, can I theater mode it and then theater mode this? Yes. So. Looking at both of these side by side, you can see how far they have come. And uh, huge, huge, huge progress. Huge, dude. Now, now we're rendered in, basically. So I mean, you gotta you gotta give these guys guys credit, man. You gotta give these guys credit. Go ahead, please like their uh, video. Um, if they if they have any way of like you know getting support, if there's any support funding, please do that because I wanna I wanna see Forza Horizon two, the the more updated build of it, not through Xenia, but the more updated build. Oh, God, fuck off. OBS, the more updated build of this, working, you know, um, I don't know, this is mind-blowing, and I'm very, very, um, you know, I, I could say I'm proud of these guys, man, the, this is, this is mind-blowing, I don't think they have a Discord, unless you guys somehow find a way to link the Discord down below, that would be great, so, yeah, um, just like this comment says, it's peak, let me see where, yep, definitely, this is peak, so, um, keep a lookout for these guys, uh, like I said, channels linked down in the description, and yes, it is the best fucking Forza game, so, just keep an eye on these guys, I will myself, um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep making videos on this, uh, let me know if you guys want me to, um, otherwise, this is cool, uh, I'm looking forward to it, uh, so, yeah, they this is uh this is huge so um xbox one emulation is should be a thing pretty soon i mean the like let me explain um xbox ones uh not the 360 bit but the one all the way up to the series the preservation with that it like as hell you you have to the moment you even get a vcr model xbox you can't use that thing right away you have to fucking connect it to the internet or else it's not going to work, and then you have to make an account or sign in. It's so stupid. So when it comes to PC at all, like you can boot, like boot into a computer. You don't have to sign in unless it's on fucking garbage ass Windows 11. This is Tiny 11. This is different, which is why you're seeing the fucking watermark all the time. Um, but there, you can obviously with a PC, you can do whatever the fuck you want with it. The Xbox One and all the way up to the series consoles are just locked down. So. Seen this uh, progress, you hadn't this been ported to PC natively a while back? Like, th this is insane. So, this is another way, just like fucking um, Bloodborne on a PC, you know, that's basically the same thing as here. Like, Shad PS4 is a PS4 emulator. I would consider this an Xbox One emulator, but this is, from what I can, they've stated it's like a, a compatibility layer, but it's coming along nice. So, I'm looking forward to this. This, I mean, it looks like it's running well. Like I said, I don't know what kind of card these guys are using, but I'm sh pretty sure it's a pretty beefy card, so keep that in mind. Otherwise, looking good. Shout out to Wine X Wine One for the updates. Hopefully, I mean, th this, I do believe that, that this stuff is legit from what I can understand. Otherwise, um, if you're new to my channel, uh, maybe subscribe, leave a like, comment below what you think, and uh, if you do, anybody does find a Discord server behind XY1, feel free to post it, that'd be great, I'll even pin the comment. Otherwise, I will catch you guys on the next one, peace.